What is good, everybody? It is your boy Pyro coming back at you with another awesome, awesome video. Today, I know it's been a while since I have posted on on here, but I've had a lot going on, so yeah. But we are back with the videos, and this is the first one back. A lot of you have asked how I how to join Bloodlines, which is one of the easiest thing things to join, or I shouldn't say things. I should say communities to join. So, with that, as you can see, this is my HUD right here. I have been, so I'm going to go through on how to join Bloodlines and all of that. So, as you can tell, let me go ahead and do this. I have been a part of Bloodlines since 2018. My ex has uh, turned me, well, not my ex, yeah, actually, it was my ex, then my soul got transferred. But, anyways, my ex has uh, was the one that changed me, and yeah. So, I'm still learning new things little by little. And as you can tell, I am a vampire slash lichen, which just means I'm a hybrid uh, race, which is called a Veywolf. It, my lichen side is more dominant at this point. So, I am a part of the Fallen Angels of Darkness clan, which is the clan that I started up for people who kind of just want to be a part of Bloodlines, but not have to do all the fighting and everything. So, I have a total of 6 souls, Vital Blood, 4.9, yeah. And then the Curse Protection Infinity, which that is just the... Ooh, excuse me. Forever Amulet, which is expensive as hell. Um, you have to buy that, and it just where you don't have it just allows you to uh, keep your blood and not have to feed all the damn time. So, but it is expensive as hell. So, anyways, let's go. Uh, first thing that you need to do is you do need to get the HUD, which is like I said, is right here. This is the HUD. Um, you need to get this down at Bloodlines East, which is the vampire side. So, let's go ahead and head on down there, shall we? All right, y'all, as I said, we... All right, y'all, <clears throat> we are now down at Bloodlines, uh, Bloodlines East, to be exact. Uh, for the link, the link will be down in the, in the description below, so just look down there. So let me go ahead and give a quick overview of it all. This is Bloodlines. What you need to look for mm. is this castle right here with the mm. big old uh, skull head. So let's go ahead and head on over here. I did switch over to my other account because this is the one that I'm going to be changing. So let's go ahead and go over here. Ooh, I see blood. Uh, as you can tell, we they do have a lot of different things here. Um, like over here, you'll see uh, the Soul Reaper back here. Um, which is basically uh, to rip the soul from somebody. They have different types of potions which uh, each potion has a specific thing that it does, like the Electrum Potion takes and is uh, to transfer your soul to someone else. The Hemlock Potion is to bring your soul from the Abyss, just in case if you did get destroyed, so to speak, you uh, drink the Hemlock Potion and you will be able to uh, pull your soul from the Abyss. You will need both the Electrum and Hemlock, so... And then the Holy Potion, basically, like it na like the name states, it's Holy Water, so it removes the demonic nature and returns your mortality, so, pretty cool. And over here, you have Blood, so, which is pretty cool. And then over here, you have Blood Tanks, which I highly recommend getting, which each Blood Tank is about... 249 uh, 249 lindens for the 5 liters for both the tank and the barrel so 
I recommend just getting the 5 liter. It, well, hold on. Let me see how much the 100 liter is. Whoopsie. Pay. Holy cow, that's expensive as hell. Okay. Um, anyway, anyways, you do have to fill this each and every time that you use it. So when it uh, when there's no blood in it that's left, you have to refill it. Whether you fill it by by people or by the blood t uh, blood tank thingy uh, that I'm going to show you guys later on. So you have the coffin, which I'm not 100% sure what this coffin is for. Let me see. Refills yourself or transfer blood to any avatar, whether offline or online. Okay, I need that. I really need that. <laughs> So, that's actually pretty cool. But what you need is you need the actual HUD first, which is in the very back, right underneath the uh, skull. So, it is called the blood, uh, Bloodlines, the Thirst HUD. So, this is what you need right here. Let's go ahead and get it. It's 599 Lindens. You just accept it, and now you have the Bloodlines HUD. So, next we're going to go down. This this part, you will need uh, someone that is already a part of Bloodlines to do. So, this is going to be a two-for-one video. You're going to see how to change somebody, how to turn somebody, and how to take and be able to... Yeah. So basically all you do is, once you have the HUD on and everything, you just literally accept the bites, and yeah, which I'll go through all that in just a moment. And when I said that I have the Forever Amulet, this is what I was talking about. Uh, they do have 5-day uh, protection, 14-day protection, 30-day protection, and the Infinite. I recommend if you're going to go for the Forever Amulet, then you need to get the for, uh, Infinite one, which is, I forget, let me see, 7,999 Lindens, so 8,000 Lindens, expensive as hell, and then over here you have a Soul Trophy, which I have, I have um, Clo uh, Chloe's uh, Soul, and I have it in a soul trophy which is pretty cool it you can put your all the souls that you have on display which I do so let me go ahead and show while we're down here I'm gonna show you where to go to get the uh, blood so let me go ahead and walk over here you will look for this little thingy uh, the blood tank thingy, and you will follow with the instructions. Uh, five liters is two hundred ninety nine. Uh, two hundred ninety nine lindens. I cannot remember how to do this. <laughs> Anyways, the instructions are right here, so... Whoa. Unblock. I did not mean to block that. Uh, the instructions are right here, so all you gotta do is just follow the instructions, and it will tell you what to do. So let's go ahead and go back on down to Sunny Valley, and let's go ahead and change this character into a vampire. Alright, y'all. We are down at Sunny Valley. So, the next step that you need to do is that you need to be able to put the HUD on. So what I'm going to do, I already put a box out so that I can place the um, HUD, the Bloodlines Thirst HUD down, the box. Go ahead and join. And you just open it. Copy it to your inventory. And then what you do is... You go to the HUD. We're going to go ahead and put the legends. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the fangs in. We're going to do medium. Fuck it. Um, 
you need to put the HUD on, and then you need to put the Thirst Nexus on. And you just click yes uh, to that. It's just the uh, rules and regulations to the uh, guidelines to the, uh, yeah. And then you just answer some basic questions. Mail. So now you have the bloodlines. Now you are connected to the bloodlines link. You have the HUD. So next you need to, this is the part that I was saying that you need someone that's already a part of Bloodlines. So let me go ahead and switch over to, back to my Pyro, my Pyro character. Alright y'all, now that we have the HUD on John, on my second character, um... And we have everything ready to and set up. Now, like I said, it is time to actually take and uh, drain the blood of John. So let's go ahead and set out the uh, blood tank real, cl real quick. Oop. We got the five liters right here. And we're going to go ahead and fill it. We're gonna completely, we're gonna completely drain myself. There we go. All right, and now what you, what they need to do is click this little button right here and choose your target. Let me go ahead and turn it off. And it will take, and they will have to accept it. Uh, the little box will come up right here like like where you had to select your gender and everything it will show up right about here and they will ju uh, you will just accept it and it will let me allow me to bite you or allow the person to bite you I should say now what I like to do is actually use the what's called the spike I have bought the spike because just biting takes a very 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 long time. The spike doesn't take as long. As you can see, it only took 0.25 per, uh, liters of blood. So we're going to go ahead, attack. 92%. Asking them for confirmation. We'll go ahead. And see, it just stabs them. Which is actually kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and scan him. See where his scan and see where the blood is at. We got to do it one more time. One or two more times. See it took, uh, where'd it go? Uh, you took 4.6 vital, uh, vitals from, yeah. So we're going to do it again. Boom. Spike. Oh shit, no. Spike. That took my spike off, so. You're too full to do this. All right, apparently we need to get another tank, so. Which is fine, we'll go down and get another tank. Let's see. We'll run down here real quick and grab another tank. And grab it. <clears throat> the 
This is the pain in the rear. This is the part that's a pain in the rear end. Ah, fuck. I forgot. You gotta click the... Cask. I may already have a cask. No, that's my places. What the hell? Okay, apparently I don't. Alright. Pay. 249. It's already empty. So we're going to go back down to where we were. Okay, we're going to go back, we're going to go ahead and set this out as well. I don't see how I'm already, I don't see how I'm full already. Take. Alright, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Security. Access mode. Open. Now we're going to go ahead and fill it. Max. There we go. Now we can continue with the spiking. And yes, they do have to accept it every single time. There we go. I had my av uh, my AO on on accident. Now we're going to check their blood again. Hold on. All right, you will see a message that will say your humanity has reached zero and have achieved the status of revenant. You are now one of the cursed undead. Now raise your status to vampire by refilling yourself with blood. Actually, let me go ahead and switch back over to my uh, John account so you can actually see what it says. All right, y'all. We are back on John now. As you can see, uh, your humanity has reached zero and has achieved the status of Revenant. You are now one of the cursed undead. Now raise your status by, to vampire by refilling yourself with blood. So we're going to go ahead and drink from this first. We're going to take the max. All right. All right, it says I am full. Whoa, what the? Oh, I forgot about this part. Yeah, you will levitate for a second. And now you are officially a vampire. And it's pretty much the same exact thing for uh, the werewolf and all of that. So, so as you can see, vital blood, five, total souls, zero. My soul belongs to Pyro Resident, Pyro 7291 Resident. And I am part of the Vampire, uh, vampire of Curse Horde. Uh, in order to set your horde, 
you would need to hold on let me set family <clears throat> There we go, and then you can also set your liege. All right, so some of the important things that you would want to know, I'm going to show you guys. Whoop, not that one. You do have smoke, hypnotize, or glamour, I should say. The glamour is so that you, they don't have to accept every single time, which I am against. You can disappear with this little black button here, and then here you have different emotes. So, it's actually pretty cool. So, the one thing I do want to show you guys, I do want to show you the, um, account with the website. We're going to go ahead and register. Um, let me go ahead and set this real quick. So, you guys, you want to register it and then... You do want to register your name, so Loverman2764. Is it capital L? Nope, lowercase. I did do that. Hold on. Oh, okay. This is how you do. Okay. Well, you already know what the fuck, what my password is now. But it is what it is. I don't really give a shit. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you the website so you can actually see this, uh, this side of everything as well. So, let's go ahead and switch over to our uh, Google Chrome and show you. All right, y'all. As you can see, we are now on the main website. It is SL, uh, slbloodlines.com. Here is where you can see a lot of different cool things. You can see the royalty, ether wealth, uh, goddess, uh, soul war, top families, top players, uh, different things. What I really want to show you is if you go up here and hit in the search bar, I'm going to search my main character, Pyro. Hit enter. Oops. Come on. It will pull up your fucking um, bloodline. You can pull up any bloodlines page, basically. So here you can see what kind of legends I have. I have resources, wealth, three. Uh, the items that I have is iron prism, bone prism, the rampage claw, for vampire, I have that was for werewolf. For vampire, I have the tank, the casket, the cask, 
the amulet and the spike. And I for this I do have the soul or the soul reaper. And for achievements I have the level one cursor, level one determined, and level one investigator. So some of the these are your badges, like your badges, so to speak. As you can see, I have a lot, lot that I haven't even done yet. I need to start getting some of this stuff done. Uh, all time total of human reaver level. Midnight SL time. The cursor. Get the last attack on human to turn them into a revenant number of times in one day. Okay. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do. So the other thing I do want to show you is the haunts. These are things, places that you can go and just kind of chill out and stuff. I don't really quite understand what they are. They're, some of them are um, like attack, uh, attic attack, yard sale, and gotchas. Role play happens here. Um, the Boneville Salt Flats, they have like different types of, um, what do you call them, uh, scavengers and stuff, which is actually kind of cool. So, and then, let me go back up. So, some of these are actually really cool, uh, really cool places to check out. You can take, like... I go to the uh, bars and the clubs. So you can go to the RP lands. I just, if you're not high enough and don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend doing it as a beginner. But yeah. So, and then over here, gear. This is where you can, if you select vampire, lichen. So let me select a vampire real quick. These are all the types of things that you can get with a vampire. So. Let me pull back up and then gear. You can do all gear. So, um, I don't really do all gear. But stats, you can see all of this as well. So, it's actually pretty cool. Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead Let's see what I'm a ninth generation vampire soul keeper is pyro been a member since 612 of 2022 June 12th 2022 and I'm a vampire of the fallen angels of darkness clan season five attackers pyro meh <laughs> so so, anyways, that is how you join uh, Bloodlines, and it works the same way as um, for your Lycan side, for pretty much any uh, Bloodline uh, character you want to play as. It works the same way. So, anyways, that's all I've got for uh, this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to turn on that post notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload. And until next time, I'm out, y'all. Peace.